Welcome to How To Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today while I'm filming this it's actually my birthday. So I've decided to come into the mini kitchen and bake a birthday cake and also to celebrate I thought why not have a competition and do a giveaway so you could win an iPhone or one of five $100 Amazon gift cards and I'll tell you how you can enter to win that later. A big thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video and there's a link to Wix below so you can get started making your very own website today. So let's start making the cake. Firstly, you're gonna need some icing sugar and I'll put all the recipe details on my How To Cook That website for you. My website now has more than 400 recipes on it, but believe me, it did start with just one. It's amazing how you can grow your website if you just set aside a little bit of time each week to work on it. Add in the butter and then give that a whisk together until it is smooth and then grab the almond meal and pour that in. The almond meal makes this cake nice and moist. Mix that in with the butter and the sugar and then add in the tiny eggs. They're so cute. And whisk those through really well so that the yolks and the whites are all mixed in into that butter mixture. Now it's time to add the flour. There we go. And the baking powder. These are all so tiny it's hard to do. Oops, <laughs> there goes the icing sugar. I think I'm running out of room on my counter. My fingers are so big in this kitchen. I'll have to put some things away. Put the dirty dishes over next to the sink and the flour can go back up on the shelf there. And I'll put my little measuring spoons in the sink. Now grab a baking tray and line it with baking paper and then pour in the cake mixture. Make sure you allow some room for that to rise. That looks pretty good. Then light the oven. And close that. Open up the other side and carefully put the cake in on the middle shelf. Well, it's the only shelf actually. So just pop it in the oven to bake. And while that's baking, run some hot water in your sink for the dishes and give those a wash. According to the 100 year old cookbook that we looked at the other week, muddle makes more muddle. So you should clean as you go. So that's what I'm doing this week. If you missed my last mini video, then you wouldn't know that I've extended this house. So we now also have a mini bedroom and a mini bathroom. How cute is that little toilet roll? Once you can smell the aroma of freshly baked cake wafting through the house, pull it out of the oven and pop it onto the counter to cool. Blow out the oven and once the cake cools down, we need to make some buttercream icing. For that, you just mix together the butter and the icing sugar, and you want to whip it until it's smooth. You don't need to add any liquid to this, just keep whipping it until it looks good. Take the cake out of the tin and cut it into very thin layers. Then use a cookie cutter and cut a circle out of the center of each layer. Add a little bit of icing to the turntable to stop the cake from slipping and add your first layer. Repeat that with the other layers and then cover the whole thing in buttercream. You don't need to worry too much at this stage what it looks like, just make sure the whole thing is covered. Then once you've done that, take some acetate and run it up the sides and around just to smooth out the buttercream so you have a nice smooth shape there. Roll out a strip of white fondant. If you use a silicon rolling mat underneath your fondant, it makes it heaps easier to get the fondant up. Cut it straight along two edges and then add that strip around the base of your cake. 
Now that looks very straight and perfect, but that's not what we want. So what you want to do is just stretch it out at the base. Make sure you can't see the buttercream, just push it down a bit if you need to, and make folds in the fondant so that it looks a bit like a fabric ruffle down the bottom there. Then roll out some blue fondant or whatever color you want it to be. Lift that up and place it over the cake. Now normally with fondant we lift and lower to smooth out all those creases and folds but in this case I want to keep them. So instead just arrange them so that they look like small fabric folds just flowing down. Add the doll into the center of the cake and then add some white fondant around her middle. Ruffle it up a little bit and then cut off the excess around the waist. Tip some sprinkles onto a plate. Whoops, <laughs> a few too many there. And then add some pink ones all around the waist. Then sprinkle on some edible luster dust for a little bit of sparkle. And there you have it, a beautiful miniature princess doll cake. Now don't forget to enter the competition so that you have a chance to win an iPhone or one of five $100 Amazon gift cards. To enter the competition, you'll need to go to wix.com backslash go backslash how to cook that and create your very own website. To make a Wix website, all you need to do is choose a template. There are hundreds to pick from. Add your title and then change the images or videos to what you want them to be and then add your own text. Customize the rest of the website to your liking. I'm adding links to my socials here. And then hit publish and your site is done. Once you've done that, you need to fill in an entry form and there's a link to that below. Thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video and thanks also to my patrons who support me every single week. This channel would not happen without you. To watch more of my mini videos, click here. To find out how to become a patron, click here. And to go to the How To Cook That channel, click here. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.